just saw a vehicle he's driving without any headlights on, so we need to catch up to it before somebody gets hurt. How are you? You know why I stopped you? No, I didn't know what you stopped. You don't have no head. You didn't have your headlights on. I do. Well, maybe you do now, but you didn't when you turned the corner back there, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, I can't, yeah, I can't help but notice. You been smoking a little something no, tonight? No, I haven't been smoking nothing. When's the last time maybe somebody smoked a little weed in the car? Uh, not too long ago, like... Because I smell it, right? Yeah. It's, yeah uh, it still kind of smells like weed. It's not even my car. I'm working on it. it smells it like reeks of weed, so... I'm going to have you step out of the vehicle, okay? Okay. All right. Come on over here. Okay. Come on over here. The reason why uh, I pulled you here. out of the car right now is just because of the weed smell, okay? No. Come on over here. Come on over here, bud. Okay. You don't have any weapons in a car or anything, do you? No, I don't have anything. I'm not even smoking. It's not even my car. Okay. It stinks, though, dude. Yeah, I know. Whose car is it? It's, uh, I'm working on it. Uh, I don't know why she's checking my car clean. Um, because she because she smells weed. Get you. If you smell weed, that gives us probable cause to search your car. Okay. Do you have anything in there, man? Can I talk to her? Hey, hey, Alana. Hold on. Let's stay here. I don't know if there's something. I can check if you want, and I'll give it to you. No, no, just just tell tell her where it's Look, at. Yeah, I, I mean, okay. I can smell we're, we're, it. You can tell me. I, I can find it. I don't know where it is. It is so is I, it in the cigarello packets? I think so. Okay, let me. I okay. just I just found it. Let me take a look. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. So so you know there's a little in the car. I think so. I think okay. So. I okay. Okay. Yeah. So now he wants to be honest, and he has a little in the car, which we know he does because we can smell it real good. There we go. It's amazing how much a little bit smells, huh? Might be a bit of a problem there. Okay, so we got obviously the cannabis that we could clearly smell, and now we got a little baggie with some uh, white powder, crystally powder inside of it. Not sure what that's going to turn out to be, but okay. So let's talk about this, okay? All right, you have anything else on you at all? No other whatever. Okay, so obviously I found the weed, right, that I can clearly smell. I also found a uh, little baggie with a white powdery substance inside it, okay? okay. So what's it going to field test for? Okay. What is it? Uh, like I can test it and figure it out. So I'm asking you, you, you know what it is, it's your car. I don't car. know what it is, like I said, it's not my car, like I told you. Okay, listen, inside the car, Manny, buried deep in it and all the stuff that's in it is all kinds of papers with your name on it. So. Okay. It's it's your vehicle for you, so let's just keep it real. Yeah, I mean, okay? Yeah. So what is the white powder? That's not mine. Too. Okay, but it's in the car that you're yeah. possessing, you're driving, and all your yeah. paperwork's yeah. inside. Yeah, I know. Okay, it's so... Not, uh, like I told you, I was with a friend a couple uh, minutes ago. Okay. And he probably left it there for And me. he dropped it right next to the passenger side where you're sitting in between the console and your seat? I, I, maybe. Maybe. Uh, unfortunately, it's going uh, to be put on you, okay? Okay. Uh, we're going to field test it and see what it is, Okay. Unless you just want to tell us. Yeah. What do you think it is, man? You know what it is. Come on. Yes, I don't know what it is. You have friends that use cocaine? I guess so. I don't know. You, how do you... Yeah. Pretty sure it's probably yeah. cocaine. So what I'm doing is I'll send it off to the lab. When it comes back positive, I'll uh, issue a warrant for your arrest, OK? OK. That's yeah. how it's going to work, OK? So I wrote him a citation for the driving without uh, headlights when required and uh, no proof of insurance. I let him uh, leave tonight, uh, but when that, uh, when and if that powdery substance comes back to be a controlled substance, then uh, I'll get a warrant for his arrest and take him into custody then. Pulling into the motel, I heard a lot of screaming and yelling and banging coming from a hotel room. Sir, did you hear those people yelling? 5501 if you cover unit. Zion Motel, unit 11. Come here, come here. Sheriff's office, come here. Come here, sir. Come here, show me your hands. Relax, relax, relax. My mom, she's acting. I forgot my clothes. Relax, relax. I came to visit my mom for the first time in, 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 in a month. Hey, what's your, what's your name? She, I just want to get my clothes and she wouldn't let me in the okay. place. I got you. I brought my mom to a frosty. So what were you guys fighting about? It wasn't a fight. I came back, they were fighting. Who was? My mom and they were fighting. I brought her a Frosty from Wendy's. I, all my clothes is in there with my with my, my hamburger. Okay. I, I just want to leave. 
I got you. I got My you. first I time here in a month. How'd you get the blood on your hand? Oh, it's just scab from there. Oh, Right. So did it get physical at all? No, no. no you guys all I did is I pushed the door because, and I had the frosties. Do you mind hanging out with him? Yeah. I'm gonna check and see what's going on. Can you get my butter hey. burger for me? Yeah, I'll get your burger for you. <laughs> Was this door broke? Oh, <laughs> Hey, yes, how are you? Sir. Yes, Hi. I'm Hi. fine. Hi. I know you're out Do you mind if I come and talk no. to you? Hold on. I... No, no, no. She's drunk, dude. She hurting him? I doubt it. Does she need... He just wants his butter burger. Listen, listen, I got to make sure you're okay. Get a warrant. I heard a lot of screaming and banging. I don't know if there was someone being hit. He's got, bl he's got blood on his hand. I don't know where that came from. I don't know where he... That's it. That wasn't here. That wasn't here. All right, can you both stand here so I can see that you have you no injuries? You can step in by yourself. All right. Leave my partner right here. That's it. Is there any? No one else is. Don't, just leave it partially open so he's not worried about it. Hey, can I get my butter burger before I go inside? Is it inside? Yeah, he tried to give it to me, but okay. We need. We need. Can we get his butter burger? Butter burger. His hamburger. Yes, oh, Lord have oh, Lord. mercy. Guess, but... All right, I'll get his butter burger, your two name, and I'm leaving, and you carry on about your night. Oh, I'm not my... kicking you out of the apartment, hey, nothing man, like that. Right. Can we get the burger? My butter burger, please. Can we get the burger? And yeah, I got that here. Oh, never mind. Hey, here's your, here's your burger. And you can uh, grab your stuff. All right, we're going to get out of your hair. Thank you, guys. They both gave me their information and told me that there had been no battery and I didn't see any evidence of a battery. His mom was extremely irate. Obviously, there was a fallout within the family, and his only concern at that time was his butter burger. But based on the banging and the screaming inside, I had to make sure everyone else was okay. Well, we're traveling uh, southbound on Sheridan Road here, and we see a vehicle obviously got into a crash. Single vehicle, car versus pole. If you can notify Zion, the car is smoking. Copy at 28. Is anybody in there? Open your door, man. Wake up, man. Hey, wake up. Wake up, dude. Hey. 55 18, make sure they start rescue. Anybody see this happen? Did you? It happened like 10 right. seconds ago. The guy inside, I can see some blood coming from his nose. I can see he's still breathing. possibly with some, some residue on it. Um, it looks like he possibly may have been using heroin and, and uh, was driving under the influence of that. There you go, there you go. Come on, buddy, wake up. And it appears once they gave him a shot of Narcan uh, through the nasal spray, he started to come to a little bit. You got that? You got it? quickly got him out of the driver's side, put him on the backboard, and they're gonna get him to the hospital as soon as possible. So hopefully he'll be okay. Luckily, nobody else got hurt out here. It could have been horrible circumstances.
55, 23, or 10, 38. Let's see, uh, talking on his cell phone. He had it in his hand. He's talking on it. Ooh, a little curbage there. That's gotta suck. Well, hello there. How are you? Good. Detective Lamont of the Lake County Sheriff's Office. I don't have a license, ma'am. Okay. Let me tell you why I, why I pulled you over. You're talking on your cell phone. Well, right. I was speaking to text. Speaking well, you, to text. But, but you're hands-free on your cell phone, right? Uh, okay. okay. So no okay. using it. Right, all. right. That's the reason for my stop, okay? okay? So, you know, so when you say you don't have a license, is it, your license is expired, suspended, it's revoked? It's suspended, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Okay, I appreciate that. You got insurance on the car, though? I do not have it on me. I okay. Know where it's at. Okay. I smell weed too. Okay. okay. When's the last time somebody smoked in the car? That I honestly don't. Like I said, I'll you die. smell it too, right? I do, yes, oh, I yeah, do. I smell it for sure. Okay. All right. Okay. But, but yeah. No. No I'm big deal. Go ahead, get out the car. No, we'll stay in the car. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Just relax. Okay, you're good. All right. <laughs> With a middle initial S, Sam, he clears revolt. Revolt. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Ten four. Okay. Yeah, suspended's one thing, revokes another, okay? All right, I'm gonna have you step out. Have you step out here and turn away from me, okay? All right, I'm just gonna put your hands behind your back for a sec, all right? But it's not the end of the world, right? It smells like, uh, it smells like weed in the car, so. All right. Over here, man. I'm just gonna have you step back to my car. Let's have a seat here, okay? on the curb for me, okay? All right. What's that? Well, you don't have to give consent because you're under arrest. Okay. Right? We have probable cause because, you know, Oh, yeah, I'll just run it. 271, 11, so we got a little bit more going on here. Obviously, we have a white powdery substance, a couple of those, a little bit of crack probably here. So obviously, I've already found a few things. Got a couple got a couple of little bags of white powdery substance, okay, along with the weed, so right? So a couple things of weed. What do you think that stuff is? I mean, if you're saying it's white powdery substance, you want dump. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna... It's what? It's cocaine, probably. Oh, okay. okay. You're not messed up on it right now, are you? No, sir. Okay. When's the last time you used? Oh, I don't. You don't? Have you ever used cocaine before? That's what I'm saying. I don't. That's the almost came out of the car. I have in the past, yes, but... Uh, in the past? Okay. You ever been arrested for it before? No, no, no. No? no? This What's this here? This... Oh, that's... Okay. What you using that for, man? I made a girl out Oh, okay. So we're gonna gather up what we got here, right? I'm gonna take you to jail for driving on a revoked license with no insurance. We'll weigh out how much marijuana you have, okay? The white powdery substance, you know, that's concerning, right? It's individually packaged for sale, okay? It is. I'll do a little field test on it. You know, I'll probably actually get a warrant for your arrest for whatever it ends up, you know, turning out to be. It's probably cocaine, like you said. Everything he had was individually packaged, so he's probably selling as well. He's got lube in a bag. That's for his hair. For the ladies. For the ladies. Huh? But he has it like individually packaged. So. Good for him. Yeah. All right. We're going to help you stand up, okay? Get you transported, okay? Oh, good. We'll walk this way. I want to pat him down one more time. And then uh, maybe if somebody doesn't have any cash on it, he might use that lubricant. I'm not sure, but you know, he said it was for the ladies, and it's uh, it's individually packaged as well. So I don't know. So you, you see all kinds of stuff out here. Whatever works for you. Right now we're heading over to a uh, um, landlord-tenant dispute. Uh, I've been here several times in the past. Complaint says she's uh, destroying stuff inside the residence and uh, looks like she's intoxicated too. So is it is it her? Yeah. What about her? Uh, what about your blood alcohol level, ma'am? You don't drink? What? No more? No, I don't drink at all. You don't drink at all. No. You're just naturally honorary, huh? No. Listen. He, he just, hey, hey, hey. Is that your girlfriend? No. At He's least my the, roommate. He's your roommate. At okay. Least. I leased the downstairs from Ed. She was evicted. Yeah. Almost a year ago. So what is she doing here? Uh, I thought she was gone. Yeah. 
while it was getting towards Christmas. Her mother passed. I was headed back to Florida for six months. Mm -hmm. Now she'll be gone by the time I get back. No, she just stayed. Okay, so, so has the, the process again for eviction. Yeah, I wish she'd leave. Okay, well she's established resident. She's lived here long enough. I can't remove her. Yeah, I'm not asking to remove her. I'm asking to put her in jail for the last nine cents you pulled on me. Uh, would you like to show us? Yes. Okay, we're gonna bite. we'll go in. Sorry about Come the on. Dog's gonna bite you. 5242 location. Which one? That one? He looks a little angry. He's a little He's strong. What was it, about a week ago? Supposedly she put bleach in his uh, wine, mixed it together. And whose wine? His wine? Yeah, and he caught that. He, she's waved a butcher knife at him, telling him she's going to get him. Mm -hmm. uh, watch out in your sleep. <laughs> He's the one who have to move out, not me. Is this? Oh, this is what crashed in here. No, I, I was, was planning to, to pour, pour a bag, but he showed up. She started taking this all apart. Why did you take and it apart? No, I'm there. not taking it apart. This I just want to pour this bag. Here, this I don't want anything in your hands. Let me take that. Don't pick up anything. You make me nervous. Where was this at before? Out here. OK. He was delusional. OK. Did you damage his thing? No, I did not damage. I mm -hmm. did it so the dog doesn't pee on it. You laid it down and dragged it over there yeah, to get I, it out of here. I it the and then I, and I, you want to you see how strong I am? So why did, why, why did you need to drag it to the room? Because that's his cabinet. That's not mine. I got you. OK. That's so not mine. You got tired of his cabinet being out here, so you dragged it into his room where his yeah. stuff. OK. All right. So what what can we do for you? We can't kick her out. She does whatever the hell she wants. Goes over everyone like a bulldozer. Do you have a lock on your door so she can't come in here? No. I would do that. I would start off by doing that. Are you? Do you live upstairs? Yeah. Okay. All right. He's tried everything to get her out of here. You guys definitely have the proceedings going, so just have to wait to to get her out that way. Uh, either that or. Sir, you get uh, apply for an order of protection. You can go tomorrow, be, be there at 9 a.m. You should be able to get an order of protection. Then we'll be here later that tomorrow, or later that day, to serve her with the OP, and then she's out. That's that's the easiest way, dude. Yeah. She honestly tried to pour bleach. Didn't try, did. She poured bleach in your wine. Yeah. OK. Yeah. <sighs> At this point, uh, nothing will happen to her right now. Uh, there's no uh, evictions or uh, order protection in place. We're gonna have to deal with it until they uh, get the uh, have the legal way to uh, to remove her. said that the subject got out of the car, took a bunch of pills, might have taken ketamine, and then walked away. Ketamine's a horse tranquilizer. It's a drug that people abuse um, who are heroin addicts. So if somebody's overdosing on ketamine, that's a high strength drug that they're taking. We're not sure where he is, so we'll go try and find him. Just took ketamine. We don't want them walking around our town uh, by themselves without medical attention. We're going to go talk to the complainant and see what she says, because yeah. we don't know where this guy went. All we have is the first name of Mike, if you know, with priors. Michael. We've had a lot of priors with this guy. The last time we were looking for him, he, he flashed a gun in a bar. He could fight. We never know. So what did he say he took? Ketamine. Did you watch him take the ketamine? I was driving, and he took a pill bottle out of like his pocket. Right, and, right. And he kind of like did this, and I'm like, what did you take? Because I know he's been talking crazy all day about how he's all depressed and stuff. Right. I pulled like into this bar. Right. And I'm screaming at this point, so I'm like, what the f did you just take in my car? Um, did he take what the whole bottle of I whatever it was? I was driving, I had no idea how much he took. The complaint advised Mr. Alder on the 708 number, so it should be live right now. Where are you? Go ahead. No, if you're staying next to a retard 
just talk. Mike, can you hear me? It's Deputy Loeb from the Sheriff's Office. Can you come to the car on Lotus? Mike, I, okay, Mike, I gotta make sure you're okay, so tell me where you're walking from. Because we have to check on your well-being. Okay, I see you right there. He's right there. And he's probably gonna fight. Mike! Get down on the ground. Okay. He usually has weapons. Well, no, because he usually has weapons on him. Put your hands on your back right now. Nice Not in trouble. We just got to make sure that you don't have anything on you. Okay. Okay. What did you take today? I didn't take anything. What'd you tell your uh, friend? Fifty-three seventy-eight. Well, whatever she thinks I took. Well, what does she think you took? Seventy-eight. Go ahead. I know. Uh, I'm remaining silent. I'm, I'm actually respecting my Miranda right now. Okay, you're not under arrest, dude. Okay, so we're just trying to get you some help. You guys are kind of horse right right now. I'm not actually being disruptive. So why, why am I being forcibly right now? Somebody said that you may have taken the We're going to have you talk to the rest of the squad. Okay. Make sure that you're good to go. So you guys are dealing with some shouldn't have to deal with. I well, we just have to check on your well-being. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a paramedic, so that's what these guys are for. So he'll get the help that he needs. Um, we just want to find him, make sure that nobody else is at risk. Is he not going to go to the hospital? No. OK. You know what? I was treated with respect by the Lake County Sheriff's Office of Illinois, Lake County, Illinois. I love my law enforcement, and I love the fact that they care about me. So he denied making any sort of threats. We have nothing to hold him on. If he can answer rescue's questions, which is probably if he knows what day it is, if he knows who the president is, um, and if he knows where he's at, then they uh, will release him, which is what they did tonight. I think we served our purpose there.